Hi everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be walking you through how I come up with ideas for my videos. When you walk somebody through something, you are telling them or showing them how to do something step by step. Usually you walk somebody through cooking recipes or dance steps, something complicated like that. For example, you can ask somebody something like, can you walk me through how to make fried rice? Or can you walk me through how to learn swipes? Or if you're telling somebody else, you're gonna walk them through it. You can say, it's complicated, but don't worry, I can walk you through it. Okay, so step one when I'm coming up with ideas is I start by brainstorming. So when I brainstorm, I take a few minutes or a few hours or a few days even and just think and come up with ideas for my video or, or whatever project I'm doing. You can also brainstorm with other people. So your friends, your colleagues can get together and brainstorm ideas. It's kind of a funny word when you say it over and over actually. For example, you can say to your colleagues, let's brainstorm ideas for our next project or let's brainstorm some ideas for our party. Something like that. You can ask people if you want, can you help me brainstorm some ideas or let me brainstorm some ideas and I will get back to you. You can think of it sort of like a thunderstorm going on in your brain. It's like, brr, lots of activity going on and you're thinking of ideas. Something like that, maybe that'll help you remember. So step two for coming up with an idea for my video is fleshing out. So what that means is after I come up with a video idea from brainstorming, I need to add more details to it. So for instance, if I want to make a video about donuts, then I will need to decide, okay, now what? What do I want to say about donuts? Uh, maybe I want to talk about the history, or maybe I want to talk about where donuts come from, or uh, different types of donuts, something like that. Think of it like adding flesh or muscle to a skeleton. So you're just adding more to it, making it more complete. That's fleshing out. The way you can use this phrase is you can say, I've got a good idea, but I still need to flesh it out. Or I thought of a good idea, but I need to flesh it out first before I show you. Or even I want to flesh out an idea that I just thought of. So step three of the idea process is back to square one or back to the drawing board. They both mean the same thing. Basically, after I come up with a video and I've fleshed it out and I've made it, or if I decide to scrap a video idea, either way, we're back to square one. And that means we had to start all the way over and now I have to brainstorm again. For example, you, you realize that you need to start over then you can just say, well, back to square one or Okay, back to the drawing board. That's it. Simple. You may be surprised, but for every video that I make, I probably come up with 20 other ideas before that, that I decide to just throw away. So these phrases, a walk through, or walking someone through something, brainstorming, fleshing out, back to square one, you're gonna hear native speakers use this a lot because they are very common phrases, but not something you're necessarily going to learn in a textbook. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell so next time I make a video, you'll see it and you'll get to learn some more English phrases. See you next time.